Battletech build, is it part five or part six? What I've been pushing up here to the channel under both the Battletech and Battletech build playlist is this idea of a battle group. I'm getting ready to start a campaign, play in a campaign, multiple battles, big battles, small battles, multiple players on each side, and I'm looking to bring a certain theme, a certain tactica to the table. And I've been sharing in these vlogs the various units that I've selected and why I've selected them. So if you're coming to this vlog from Google search or YouTube, or you've discovered it through one of my links, you might want to check back and see the foundation vlogs. Although you can start anywhere because what I'm doing is I'm breaking out the individual elements of these groups, sharing with you how I'm going to utilize them. And then in the final couple of vlogs, we're going to put everything together and kind of present it as an entire battle group working together. So a really quick framework, I'm flipping the script, right? Battletech mechs are kings, mechs are fantastic. Most of the time, vehicles are a secondary support system. I'm going in armored assault. I'm making the focus of this battle group of this list vehicles, lots and lots of tanks, lots and lots of firepower. And mechs are going to be flipped in that. I'm going to include mechs because there are a number of mechs that I really enjoy playing, but they're going to be more in a support role. They're going to look to take advantage of opportunities that the vehicles can, uh, the vehicles and the tanks and infantry can create. So I'm selecting mechs for that role. Mechs are going to be a little bit minimized, vehicles maximized. So in this vlog, we're going to look at the second mech in my battle group, the rifleman. Now, admittedly, I'm trying to do two things here, right? Whenever you're playing a campaign, Battletech campaign, you need to win. You want to win. You're a mech commander, right? You're going to be playing multiple, multiple games. You want to have a solid game plan. You, you want to do the absolute best you can. I mean, always with wargaming. But second to that, you're going to be playing the same groups or the same um, resources that you start with through multiple games, I find, and this is just personally, it's not the most optimized, but this is where we walk that duality. I could take a super um, math hammer medalist and just destroy. Would I have a lot of fun playing some of those machines and mechs? Maybe, not really. There's certain mechs that, for various reasons, I really, really like to see on the table. I have a lot of fun playing them. Some are weird tactics. Some are just, look, I've been playing these mechs forever with friends, so I'm known for them. Or when I pull out a certain mech in honor of another Battletech friend of mine, all those great memories, those feelings, that narrative come out. So I try to do a little bit of both. I take vehicles and mechs that, for various reasons, I enjoy. Some are optimal, some not that optimal. But at the same time, I want to build the framework of a solid, solid list because I'm going to bring the hammer. I'm going to try and do the absolute best that I can with solid, solid tactica. So within that framework, the rifleman, the rifleman works, but admittedly for the role that I'm going to be using it for, there are possibly better choices, better mechs that I could take. So the first idea is the rifleman's got some long range punch. It does have heat issues. Yes. I mean, we've jumped into the rifleman tactica of this mech in detail, I've pushed that up to the Battletech playlist. I'm not going to jump into the Tactica, but I picked the Rifleman because I like how this mech looks. I'm known for playing it. Um, I've played it in multiple previous campaigns with a few of the Battletech friends that I'm going to be playing with. Honor, honor demands that I show up with this mech. So the role that it's going to fill is long range advantage, long range advantage. What I mean by that is the tanks, the PPC carriers, the Shrek PPC carriers that are going to be the primary focus of this list. They're going to be sitting there slowly advancing, blasting you real time with double digit PPCs, LRM carriers raining down real time, hundreds of SRMs, LRMs. If you get close to my short range missile carriers and I've got the tactic to make it happen, I'm going to hit you with real time, hundreds of short range missiles. There is no repelling firepower of that magnitude no matter what you do. You don't have plot armor. It's, it's just going to just blast through everything. But, but I need to stay together. I need to stay focused. 
right? These, these vehicles work in tandem, work very, very close. It has a very small footprint. I can't break formation, right? Always, always stay in formation. This is no rogue squadron type thing. Stay in formation. So if I'm fighting my opponent, let's, let's just say they've got whatever, a heavy mech engaged and we're fighting and the heavy mech takes some critical damage. And now they say, I want to back off. I want this heavy mech to back off because I want to redeploy or I don't want to the mech to go down and I lose an initiative, they pull back. And it could be a vehicle, it could be anything. This is where the rifleman's going to kind of float around. It's, it's going to look where um, as opposing units might pull back to take some pressure off with its long-range firepower that it can continue to put the pressure on. So it's going to add value where it needs to, supporting, absolutely. But then when something pulls away, it is going to go after it. I'm not going to break off, say, two Shreks to go after it or um, pull off an LRM carrier or short-range missile carrier. Like, no, that group is going to stay together. So this is – the Rifleman is looking for those stragglers. It's looking for those units pulling back. It's looking for those units that might have some internal damage and now are trying to put maybe five, six, eight hexes away from the target. It's going to go after those. That's the focus and the role that this machine, this mech, is going to play. Now, we've also got to explore the Warhammer. We've got to explore the Marauder. We've got to explore the Griffin. Then we've got some hovers. Then we've got some infantry, various infantry um, builds and configurations. Then all of that comes together in one final overlapping demonstration. And that's my battle group. That's the battle group ready to go.